Okay, welcome to session three of our data visualization class. Um, today, we're going to learn some exciting things that let you describe graphs. Um, we're going to introduce you to a new language or a grammar of graphics, um, which is kind of the most powerful part of, of the ggplot library, which we'll be using a lot throughout the rest of this course. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. So if you open up the slides, you can follow along online. So we're going to be talking about how we map data to graphics and why we do this. Um, so what we'll talk about first is this idea of aesthetics and the grammar of graphics. And this is slightly confusing because when we talk about aesthetics, we're not talking about design or anything that like means it looks pretty. Um, it's, it's a specific term that we use um, when we talk about mapping data to graphics. Um, then we'll talk about um, more about this grammar of graphics and how we can layer different elements of this grammar onto graphics and make really complex charts. And then we'll talk about some extra dimensions of aesthetics that you can't do with ggplot, but you can do in other situations. Um, and then we'll briefly at the end talk about tidy data and why um, the data that you work with with ggplot needs to be in a specific format, in a long format, if you're familiar with Stata. Um, and we'll talk about um, how exactly we do that. So let's go ahead and get started and learn about the grammar of graphics. <laughs> 